It's a radio talent show with a mission. The Al Ghad Star Contest has showcased 93 competitors, all aged between 15 and 25, and all from Mosul. Iraq's second city is still reeling from three years of Islamic State group rule and seven months of war. The radio show is a challenge in itself. What makes it different is that it showcases talent which comes out of pain. There's nothing unusual about showcasing talent which can be expressed comfortably. But when you're in pain and still manage to sing, that's what's difficult. Based in Arbil, Al Ghad Radio has proved a hit back in Mosul, 80 kilometers to the west, where Iraqi forces have been battling since October to oust the IS group. The Al Ghad Star Contest has given young listeners a chance to take to the airwaves themselves, singing classic Arabic songs or commenting on football matches. The competitors surprise me because their talent is so honest. They're not looking to become famous, they just want to express themselves. In East Mosul, retaken from the jihadists, one participant particularly moved the judges with her story. 15-year-old Noor began losing her sight in August 2015, eventually going completely blind. She discovered Al Ghad radio and decided to compete on the show, winning the jury's support all the way to the semi-final with her reflections on Iraqi society. Radio is a whole different world. You don't have to be able to see to listen to it. Even though I'm blind, I can listen to the radio and feel like I'm part of a different world. In the future, I want to become part of this special world. I want to become an anchor. Despite receiving thousands of votes, Noor was beaten to the final by two singers and a reporter. But Al Ghad is looking for presenters, which means Noor may one day return to the airwaves.